Good evening. My name is Christine Feenstra, and I'm a resident of the city of Sacramento. And up until June of this year, I served as training manager for the California Peace Officers Association. I am here to respectfully request that you as the city council and Chief Han review the CIT courses that half of SAC PD participated in via CPOA. In January 2017, I attended a CPOA board of directors meeting wherein I was told off the record by the Sacramento police captain, Mark Coopwood, who is the incoming president of CPOA, that a huge amount of funding was available. Captain Coopwood told his colleagues at SAC PD that we had a class and that we should use CPOA for this training. CPOA did not have a 40-hour class. I was then told to expeditiously create a 40-hour class, which I did. To do so, I worked with a consultant named Carol McKinley Alvarez. We were told to create this class based off the Memphis model, but in order to receive the funding, the class had to be ready within two months. It was not possible to integrate all the required components of the Memphis model, yet the classes went on starting in April. As you know, a key component of the Memphis model is on-site visitation and exposure to several mental health facilities, intensive interaction with individuals with mental illness, and scenario-based de-escalation skills training. I was told by Captain Greenlee that he did not wish to have his officers travel off-site to a mental health institution because they would never return to the classroom. <clears throat> this training requires 40 hours of participation. The CPOA classes were held from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday with a one-hour lunch, leaving these attendees 10 hours short of the required 40 hours. In addition, they received breaks. For the day four of the class, the instructor was not available, so I was told by CPOA leadership to facilitate the full day of training. I am not a mental health clinician, and I am not an instructor. I did so by showing these attendees a series of videos that the officers did not pay attention to. Mayor Steinberg, you stated that funding these courses was one of your most important steps we could take to improving the relationship between police and community. I would not, could not agree more, and I was very excited to be part of this training in the city that I love and live in. While it may be true that SAC BD completed these trainings, I urge you, I urge you to review the curriculum. I urge you and Chief Han to review it. Uh Thank you.